it's time for a massive, gargantuan, monstrous, 7-inch rock metal update. <laughs> Alright, like I said, this is going to be a rock and metal 7-inch update, and this is a big one. Uh, I've scored a bunch of stuff recently. I'm really surprised by how much stuff I found locally. I'm just going to get right into it because I have so much to show. Walked into a store here in, um, in Albuquerque and found this one for a dollar or two dollars. Um, and it was the uh, Back to uh, Back to Back Hits series from Alice Cooper. And this is uh, 18, Back to Caught in a Dream. And I believe this was released in 1973. Um, the original single was released in 71. This is a re-release from 73 um, in the original sleeve. And uh, like I said, surprised to find this locally for, and for so cheap as well. So I had to snag that. Uh, Alice Cooper, I'll pick up anything from Cooper. Um, as well, I picked up the uh, Alice Cooper Elected single. And I picked this one up online on eBay. And uh, this is actually back to Looney Tune. Here's the back cover, which is the same as the front cover. Oops. And then here's the green uh, Warner Brothers sleeve. Um, now, when this one came in the mail to me, the um, it, it um, had the wrong record inside of it. Instead of having the elected um, single and Looney Tune in it, it instead had the uh, had Desperado back to under my wheels on it. So I contacted the seller and I said, "Hey man, it's the wrong record in the sleeve." Um, and offered to send him back the record if he sent me the right one. In any case, oh man, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. So instead, he just sent me the Warner Brothers sleeve and uh, told me to keep both records. So I ended up getting, you know, this one and this one for the price of just the one. So very cool. Uh, I'm not sure this is the original Warner sleeve. I'm not sure it's the right year. It is a Warner sleeve, but I'm just not sure this is the uh, correct one for what, 1972. I have to look into that. So anyhow, this is uh, Under My Wheels back with Desperado. And then. Looney Tune and Elected. And I also picked up uh, this one. I already had this one, but I picked it up again because I found it cheap. And you don't see Alice Cooper singles, you especially don't see Alice Cooper pictures these singles very often. He's not around these parts. Uh, so I grabbed this one, and this one's going to be going out to a friend of mine um, who also collects 7 inch singles. This is back when it's hot tonight. And this is also on Warner Brothers, but it's on the Hollywood Boulevard, whatever it is, uh, label. And uh, yeah, it's very cool uh, to find that. And again, very inexpensive. And then um, also Alice Cooper. This is Bed and Nails. And this is a uh, UK pressing on Epic, uh, backed with uh, On Your Gun. It's on the Trash album. Trash album. And um, well, one other thing I want to say, you know, I was listening to, uh, was it this one? No, it was the other one. So I was listening to this single when I brought it home, um, and Caught in the Dream caught me off guard <laughs> because this is actually a different mix than the one that's on the uh, on the album. Um, when I checked the album version, I ended up you know playing both to check it. This album is a little more piano driven, um, or it's just higher in the mix or something like that. Um, so it's definitely a different mix. I'm not sure it's a different recording, uh, but also I noticed there was a lyrical difference in this album, this version, and the one that's on the album. Uh, the line says something to the effect of what I thought was heaven turned out to be hell. Um, on this single it says what I thought was heaven turned out to be well. And when I first listened to it I was like, wait a minute, did I really just hear him say well? So I had to go back and you know, put it back on and listen again and sure enough it says well. So I looked it up online and yep, this, this single was changed to the word well to be less offensive. Whatever. <laughs> That's just bizarre. Um, changing, you know, hell to well. Okay, maybe 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 to make it playable on the, on radio or something. I'm not sure. All right, this next single. Uh, this is actually a freebie. Um, this came from a very honest and very nice eBay seller. This is a Rock and Roll Night Kiss, backed with Getaway. This is an original single from the Dress to Kill album, um, and um, I'm not sure this is the original, the correct sleeve because I also have this one, and this is not new. This is a Rock and Roll All Night Live, backed with Rock and Roll All Night Studio, and. Um, this is from the Alive album, and um, this is from the, like I said, from the, uh, got distracted my grandson in the background if you can't hear him. <laughs> um, yeah, this is from the uh, Dress to Kill album, sorry. And uh, 
as you can see, the sleeves are slightly different. This is a Casablanca sleeve, just has the camel on it, whereas this is a Casablanca record and filmwork sleeve, has both the camel and the, and the camera on it. They kind of morph into each other. So I have to look and see if this is the correct sleeve for this one. I'm pretty sure this is the correct sleeve uh, that should have been on this one. Either way, this is a free single from an honest eBay seller who um, not only gave me a free single, but I bought several singles from her and she, you know, I, I, I bundled a bunch of singles together to get them cheaper with the shipping and um, she ended up refunding me like $5 of shipping because uh, she goes, oh no, it didn't cost that much for shipping, so I'm going to refund you some money. Wow. An honest eBay seller. I was impressed. I ended up going back and buying more from that person because you just don't find honest eBay sellers like that very often. As you'll see in the story I'm about to tell from another batch of singles that I bought. Uh, this is a new wave of traditional heavy metal band, this is Evil Survives, the name of the song Judas Priest Live, kind of an odd name for a song, um, backed with uh, Dragon Slayer, this is on a custom, this doesn't have a custom center ring, there you go, and this has an Ed Refka cover, there's the back cover, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and throw a little clip of that in live. <laughs> clip of, uh, of Evil Survives Judas Priest Live, new wave of traditional heavy metal band. Um, I just thought, you know, I, I checked them out on YouTube, I kind of liked them, and I found that single cheap, so I grabbed it. Glad I did, I like them. I'm going to have to look and see if I can find more by that band. So, uh, This next band is not new wave of traditional heavy metal, but they are traditional heavy metal. This is Destructor. Uh, this band's been around since the 80s. This is actually a more recent single from them. Um, this was an exclusive Snake Pit magazine release. Um, on Auburn Records, and it was a two songs live, Counting Evil Live and Overdose Live. Uh, this was released in 2010, and I found this locally for like three bucks at uh, Charlie's Records. Kind of surprised to find this in the used bins uh, over there, so I of course snagged that up. Destructor, the Metal uh, Spike Deep Live from Cleveland, both songs recorded in 2008. Uh, I've also still thought I'd show this one, even though it's not new, I've had it for a long time. Uh, this is also Destructor. This is a, a single that uh, is split with Nunslaughter. So, uh, the only other Destructor I have in my collection, so I thought I'd show that. Uh, next up, some new wave of traditional heavy, new wave of British heavy metal. This is Tigers of Pantang. This is the Love Potion number no. 9 single. Not a huge fan of that song. Uh, I like the B side better, which is uh, Stormlands. Uh, very cool um, cover art, though. I always thought that was a great. Great uh, painting. Next up, some thrash metal from Anthrax. And of the four, uh, big four of thrash metal, Anthrax has always been my favorite. Um, they were a local band when I was growing up, so I just always loved them. 
Megadeth in a close second to them. This is the Indian single from 1986, I believe. 86. Uh, back with Taint and Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. And this is on an orange, opaque vinyl on the standard island center ring. That's a cool Anthrax single. And I actually got picked up this one on uh, eBay. I was actually search I'm actually looking for the, uh, the Soldiers of Metal single, which is one I used to have. I've been trying to get back ever since. Ended up falling upon that one. I'm getting it very cheap on eBay. Um, speaking of SOD, oh, SOD, speaking of Anthrax, SOD, of which of course is made up of one half Anthrax members, Charlie Benante and Scott Ian. Uh, this is the um, 2015 Black Friday Record Store Day release for Milk. Uh, and of course, Milk is going to be on a white vinyl, and it is. And the centering art is drawn by Charlie Benante. Actually, the entire cover art is drawn by him too. Uh, and it's back to the Deftones cover of the same song, Milk. Yeah, so if I can get this back in the sleeve, that'd be really awesome. And then here's the back cover, also drawn by Charlie Benante, apparently. Very cool. Uh, I thought I'd show this one too. This is the only other SOD single I have in my collection. Um, this is the uh, Seasoning of the Obese split single with the Japanese all female hardcore thrash metal punk band Yellow Machine Gun. Um, I've had this one forever. Uh, this has got to be from the very early 2000s. I can't remember what year this was released. This is on yellow vinyl. And it's got the uh, like I said, Seasoning of the Obese, and then it's got uh, My uh, Eyes Under the Sands, and again, from Yellow Machine Gun on the B-side. Also came with an insert, SOD, and then an order form in the back. Again, that's not a new one, I've had it forever, but since I'm showing SOD, I'll again throw that one in there. One of my all-time favorite bands, I'll buy anything by this band. Um, this is Judas Priest, Breaking the Law. This is a UK single. Um, not one of my favorite Priest songs. Matter of fact, it's one of those songs if I never hear it again, uh, you know, I wouldn't care that much. Uh, back with one of their great song, uh, Metal God. This is a gatefold with a very cool picture of the band live, and you can see the record uh, slides into here. Very cool picture of the band in the center. It's on a standard UK CBS label. Judas Priest singles just don't pop up that often, so if I see them, I grab them, and uh, that one's very cool. I like the gatefold. Um, you know, and I say, you know, I'm tired of hearing Breaking the Law, but I saw them on the British Steel, uh, what, the 30th anniversary British Steel tour they did not too long ago, and they played the entire album live, and when they were playing that album live, it just, it was great live, and I totally enjoyed it, you know, just bumping the entire time, and, uh, banging my head and singing along to every single song, it was awesome, so, <laughs> I may say that I'm tired of hearing that song, but man, it was great hearing them in concert. This is, a uh, Swiss Band Coroner. Um, this is Purple Haze, backed with uh, Math Jackal. This is on. This is a UK pressing on Noise Records. It's on a standard Noise, Black Noise label. Um, shocked to find anything by Corner um, on single even. This is a. Uh, here's the back, the front. Uh, just on a black vinyl. Uh, like I said, you know, finding thrash metal on singles to begin with is just nearly impossible. Finding something like this is just ridiculously impossible. Uh, I was shocked they fell upon it. Uh, funny thing about this is the second time I saw one of these. Uh, I was at the Albuquerque Record Convention a few months ago, and a seller had one of these on the wall. And right as I pointed and asked the seller how much that was, somebody on the other side of the table, I asked the, uh, the other guy in the booth how much it was, and he grabbed it, pulled it down, and gave it to the other guy. So <laughs> that's how close I was to having it. And they're finding other copy. Who knows? Who knew, you know? Um, I think I paid like five bucks for it. And it's in great shape. Uh, this next batch, um, ACDC. Uh, this is a UK press, UK, US pressing of Let's Get It Up, backed with Snowball on the standard Atlantic uh, centering. And there's the back. Uh, and then also, I picked up uh, ACDC Let's Get It Up, backed with Back on Black, recorded live in 1981. And this is the UK pressing of the single. Totally different cover, totally different B side. Um, and then the back side of this single looks like, and if I get it out of the sleeve, So yeah, two ACDC 7-inch singles. Um, been adding quite a few ACDC singles to my collection recently, but the awesome of Ryan Johnson can't seem to find a Bon Scott single to save my life. And bon Scott's my favorite era of, of uh, ACDC, though I love both. Um, just 
don't have any singles by him yet. <laughs> uh, this is also ACDC, this is Who Made Who. And this is backed with uh, Guns For Hire Live. Uh, this is a UK pressing as well. On the standard Atlantic center ring. Uh, what year is this from? 1988. So, three uh, ACDC 7-inch singles. Uh, some American metal. Metal! Wasp! <laughs> this is uh, the extremely rare red vinyl blood pack. I don't need no doctor. Um, extremely rare. And uh, this, this is live stuff. This is Widowmaker backed with uh, da, 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 da. I don't need no doctor. I don't need no doctor backed with Widowmaker, I should say. And like I said, it is on a opaque red vinyl on a standard capital label. 1989, I believe. No, nope, 87, I was wrong. The next one that I have that I'm going to be showing is from 89. If I can get this one back in the sleeve. This is uh, from the same seller. This is Wasp Me Machine. And this is on an opaque purple vinyl. Got Chris Holmes on the cover. And uh, yeah, 89. I got it on the black capital label. This is a, a UK pressing. And uh, the back cover has a. Uh, let's see, it's a cover of a. Uh, Judas Priest. Man, I'm having a problem speaking today, aren't I? This is uh, Jethro Tull's locomotive breath. Um, and it's got this little tester strip right here. I don't know if you can tell well you can see it. But it's got this little black thing. If you put your finger on it, um, it turns colors. Um, if, you, if it turns blue, you're limp. If it turns green, you're firm. If it turns red, you're hard. If it turns black, you're mean. Um, I tried it uh, the other day once and it turned green. I had my wife try it and it stayed black. So I guess that means I'm uh, firm and she's mean. <laughs> Don't tell I said that. Just kidding. Uh, that did happen though. <laughs> Meme Machine, Chris Holmes on the cover. Uh, the next batch, now this is a dishonest eBay seller. Haven't left feedback for him, but I plan to. Um, this is uh, Motorhead City Kids. Now, I was looking for some Motorhead singles, um, and this is one of the ones I've been looking for. This is, uh, this is a repressing from 77 on the big beat label. Uh, and there's the back cover. Now, this. I got this for two and a quarter, I think, or two dollars. I don't know, somewhere between two and three bucks. And, um, which is pretty, really, really cheap for any Motorhead single, really. Um, but the guy won eight dollar shipping. Now, he said in his thing that he combined shipping. So that's fine. You know what? Eight dollar shipping. I'm going to find a couple other singles to buy off the guy um, to make it worthwhile, you know? Um, even ten bucks for this isn't that bad of a deal considering how old the single is. But um, I was like, all right, let me see what else he has. So I ended up grabbing. The Motorhead uh, Girl School St. Valentine's Day Massacre 7 inch. Has a 12 inch. Never owned the 7 inch before, so I grabbed that. This has um, Bomber, Emergency, and. What's the other song? Please Don't Touch. The back cover has a picture of Girl School standing over a slaughtered Motorhead. And, um, you know, I grabbed that, and then I grabbed Motorhead Eat the Rich from the Rock and Roll album, which is the first tour I saw Motorhead on back in the day at the Penny Arcade in Rochester, New York. So I grabbed these three singles. All of them were under three bucks each. Nobody else bid on them. Uh, I was kind of shocked that nobody else bid on them, and I won them all. Um, and when I went to pay for them, the uh, seller refused to um, combine the shipping. So he charged me, uh, what, 26 bucks shipping? Um, it was the total, I think, on the shipping. For three singles, $26 shipping in the United States. Um, I was a little peeved about that, but I hit, I did bid on them. I did have to pay for them, so I paid for them. Paid the 26 bucks shipping plus the six to eight bucks I, you know, bid on them. Um, and then it took two weeks to get here. He sent, he paid three dollars and sent them media mail. And then on top of that, he has a nerve to send me an email and ask me when I'm going to be leaving positive feedback. <laughs> you know what? The other seller that sent me that Kiss record refunded my shipping because it's. Just, he said it wasn't that I paid more than I needed to. This guy was just, he didn't get as much as he wanted for the single, so he decided he was going to make it up in shipping, and that irritates me. So anyhow, dishonest eBay seller. Black Sabbath, this is uh, Feels Good To Me, from the uh, TYR album, I believe. Should have looked that up, I can't remember for a, it's got to be from the TYR album, right? Uh, yep, yeah, TYR album does say that. With, uh, it's back with um, Paranoid Live. And of course, this is Tony Martin singing. And it's Tony Martin singing on the live track as well. Uh, I'll buy anything Black Sabbath. Uh, and I found this for a good price, so I snagged it. As well as 
this from the same seller. Um, this is uh, Devil and Daughter. This is a promo 7 inch. Uh, and this is a single sided signal. Um, here's the front and the back cover. Um, obviously, from the Headless Cross album, because they have the little bit of the Headless Cross album. But as you can see, it has the, uh, the IRS label on one side. The back's just silver, there's nothing on it, and there's just nothing on the vinyl as either. It's grooveless. Um, still, a cool little single. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't pay that much for it, and uh, it's Sabbath, so like I said, I'll buy anything Sabbath. So. Tony, Aomi is, Tony Aomi is the Rift Master. Uh, adding to the Gary Moore collection, which I showed just a few videos ago. Uh, this is uh, Always Gonna Love You. Backed with um, Cold Hearted. This is in the quarter of the Power album. And uh, it's on this green and red version label. And also from Gary Moore, this is the After the War single. This is a gatefold. It's the back cover. And it's backed with uh, this thing called Love. And like I said, it's a gatefold. It has tour dates on the inside. This is a UK tour edition, apparently, of this single. It's got the, a black sleeve inside of it. And it's on the standard silver version label. Um, yeah, it's cool, two cool Gary Moore singles. Didn't see Gary Moore, another one of my favorites, and I'll buy anything from them. Uh, this is a gift from a friend. This is a Canadian pressing of Twisted Sisters' um, I Wanna Rock, backed with, uh, I'm sorry, Twisted Sisters' Leader of the Pack, backed with I Wanna Rock. And I'm not sure if this is a promo single or what. I'm almost 100 positive the sleeve is not the right sleeve, but it's kind of cool. I have a, a few different versions of Leader of the Pack. I don't have this version. I'm going to leave it in this sleeve with a little sticker on it because it kind of looks cool like that. Uh, we're getting down to the bottom now, um, finally. <laughs> Told you I had a lot of them. Um, getting out of that heavy metal more into some hard rock stuff. Uh, this is actually a ballad from April Wine, Canadian uh, hard rock band April Wine. This is Just Between You and Me. Backed with Big City Girls from the um, Nature of the Beast album. Obviously that's the Nature of the Beast cover. There's the back cover. And it's on the Capitol label. This is a US pressing of a Canadian band. Um, this is a this is another cool one that I found locally here for I think a buck. Uh, this is a, a promo only wet label promo single for um, Marillion's Hooks in You. And it's in this, that's a, um, a, uh, like a metallic looking capital logo sleeve. Uh, and the B side is also Hooks in You, but it's called the Meaty Mix. So you got the the Meaty Mix and the regular mix. Now the regular mix is very keyboard uh, synthesizer driven and that's you know where Marillion was in the mid 80s this has got to be you know mid, mid to late 80s this single 89 um, but the beast side is a really guitar heavy version of the song which I really enjoyed better than the actual A side so a uh, very cool single and I ended up finding two of these here locally so I grabbed them both um, and this second single was actually going out to uh, a VC friend as well so like I said I'm finding a ton of stuff locally um, and I'm only showing mostly the stuff I'm keeping. I found a bunch of stuff I'm going to be sending out as, um, to some friends as well. So This is uh, Bad Company, Rock and Roll Fantasy, on the Swan Song label. Um, here's the back side of that one. And this is backed with uh, Crazy Circles. Again, found this locally for, I can't remember if it was 2 or $3. This is a Vertigo UK pressing of, um, of Nazareth Holy Roller, backed with uh, Railroad Boy, and I believe this is a single promoting the uh, Greatest Hits release, that's what's on the back side. Uh, I'm not sure the year on this one. 1975, Nazareth. This next one's cool, this one I wouldn't even consider hard rock, I don't know, maybe pop rock, just straight up hard, straight up rock and roll, whatever. This has got one of the coolest um, record sleeve. Um, record company record sleeves that I've ever seen. It's still on the bronze label. This is Kim Mitchell. This is uh, Go For A Soda. And the record sleeve that comes with it is this. It's got the, the, uh, the UK flag with the, with the, I don't know what you call that, the Evolution Man walking around the Union Jack. Very, very cool um, sleeve. And uh, I, of course I take all my records out of the sleeves and I put them in generic white ones. But oh yeah, this is a, I, always, I just thought that was very cool. And I'm a huge Kim Mitchell fan. Of course, Kim Mitchell being the guitar player from uh, Max Webster, another K-1 
Canadian band. Uh, Joe Jett and the Black Heart just says, I hate myself for loving you. Uh, back with uh, Love is uh, Pain Live. On the uh, Black Hearts label, Black Hearts Records label. Another one I found two of. <laughs> this is Aerosmith Crying, back with Walk On Down on a Geffen label, on the Geffen, standard Geffen sleeve. Uh, surprised to find this. Uh, you don't see a whole lot of um, singles for Nine Lives. I don't know vinyl, anyhow, you'll find them on CD. Uh, and I found two of these. Uh, so again, one of these will be going to somebody in the VC. And uh, let's see what we got left here. We got, uh, we got two or three left here. This is uh, a ballad from Cheap Trick, The Flame. One of their biggest singles ever. This uh, is on the Epic label, but it has a custom center ring. Uh, let's see, the, back, the B side is uh, Through the Night. And then here's the other side. Um, not my favorite era of the band. I much prefer, you know, the 70s stuff, but I like pretty much any Cheap Trick. Um, I'm not just about heavy metal and hard rock. I like some other things too. And Cheap Tricks happens to be one of those. From the same album, this is Ghost Town. And this is an American single. Back to the wrong side of love. Uh, and that's just, just a standard epic label sleeve. And uh, this next one here is, uh, I, I think I've shown one of these guys' singles in just about my last two or three updates. Uh, way outside of the uh, hard rock and heavy metal spectrum, but I, I just really like his style and I like his sound, I like his solo stuff. Um, this is uh, Phil Collins in the Air Tonight. And this is a 2015 Black uh, Friday record store day release that my buddy Bill uh, Bafford uh, picked up for me out in California. And this is a, this single comes in a, uh, it's basically a book. It's a little comic book. Uh, that basically tells a you know a silly story about the life of, uh, of Phil Collins. I'm, I'm just a huge Phil Collins fan, so uh, I'll pretty much buy anything by Phil as well. Phil War Genesis, uh, and then it's got the uh, the record kind of slides into this little sleeve in the back. Um, but I put it in, of course, in the standard white sleeve. And um, one, one, well, a few more, but basically one more. Uh, I was trying to, you know, get some more of those Iron Maiden singles, but suddenly they're, people are selling them for 10 and 15 and 20 bucks online, and um, I just wasn't seeing them locally anymore, and um, there's a few of them at Hastings, and even they wanted 10 bucks a piece for them, they're just not paying that for these singles. Um, there was thousands of them pressed, and they're new. Why are we, why are we gouging the prices? Um, my good friend Steve, a Harmless Rebel, told me to check out another place online, and I, and I did, and they had them for $7 each, $6.95. Um, with free shipping and I got them at the right time because they were having a sale so I got used the code and got like I can't remember what what it was 25 or 30 percent off on top of that so I ended up picking up a bunch of the Iron Maiden singles this is the um, Sanctuary back with Drifter and I've got Fire this is uh, Woman in Uniform back to the Invasion this is uh, Running Free back to Sanctuary live Purgatory, back with Genghis Khan. And finally, this is uh, Two Minutes to Midnight, back with uh, Rainbow's Gold. And I picked, like I said, I picked these up. They were $6.95 each, free shipping, and uh, then I, I got an additional 25% off, I think, with a coupon. So I don't know, whatever that is. I don't do math. <laughs> so that's it. That is my 7-inch um, my massive update, and I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, you know, leave a comment below. Um, talk to me about music, man. Um, and that's what I do these things for, man. To chat with you guys about music. Uh, appreciate y'all watching. Um, it is almost Christmas, so Merry Christmas. Um, that's it. God bless. Stay strong.